Budapest is one of those cities I had never really planned to visit, but since my good friend Hyonu moved here, it was a great reason to go to a new country. Let's get this trip started with Korean barbecue. I have to say I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of this samgyeopsal. It was simply awesome and really authentic. Budapest is a stunningly beautiful historic city. It's really spread out and you can spend hours and hours walking around it. The city is also well connected by metro, buses and one of the coolest old school tram systems I've ever seen. As our time in Budapest was really limited, we mainly used the Bolt Taxi app. It is cheap and really easy to use. The rides around the city usually cost around 5 euros, more or less. On a rainy day, Budapest Central Market Hall is a perfect place to visit. It is a huge market with a lot to offer like this sausage, this sausage, this sausage, this sausage and maybe this sausage and a lot more. I got my paprika sausage, 1200 for it. Okay. So this is the central market in Budapest. It's really a huge market. The meat quality looks like amazing here. Like they have duck and goose and foie gras and liver and of course paprika and all of those spices and honey. And you can find anything here basically. I had heard it can be quite touristic here, but it seemed locals do a lot of their shopping here too. Pork, right? Mm. The fried. I think so. My first time. Not too crispy. Oh, really? Yeah. Inside is kind of fatty. And mm. Yeah. The Your taste side. is quite okay for me. It's okay, but yeah, I don't like when it's cold because when the fat gets cold, it's not really mm. nice. <laughs> it's meat. This one. Oh. Oh. Right. This one. There's crispy pieces. Some pieces are more fatty and some more meaty, yeah. so. Yeah. You never know what you get. Like, oh, too much fun. <laughs> so next we are gonna go to the second floor, right up there, where we can try some local foods. Sausage we found it's in this huge. whole market. <laughs> it's a mustard. Very juicy and it's it's like tastes like real meat. It's not like some flour and shit. It's like real meat. And yeah, it's nice spicy flavor. It's like nice kick after eating it. Like you can feel the spiciness of it. Mm. I didn't expect it to be so no. that spicy. You can feel some some heat. Mm. It's really good meat. Very nice. Oh, that's juicy. Is it with cabbage inside? Oh, yeah, 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 cabbage. Cabbage, yeah. Wow. Nice cabbage. So nice. Really? Yeah, so nice. The spiciness and the freshness. Oh, so good. All Koreans will love this. Yeah, it's really good for, you know, sausage. Good combination. Like you get the freshness from the pepper and cabbage. <laughs> you always like mm. fried dough. Mm. Mm. Crispy. Uh, Very crispy. Good. 
It's not my type. But the meats are very good though. It's not like a pizza, it's not like yeah. a sandwich. It's, it's nothing special to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be yeah, honest. <laughs> yeah, like the sausage we just ate, that was so tasty. Oh, yeah, that the was the best sausage, sausage of our yeah. life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is like. Mm, yes. It's kind of plain. Not so much flavor. Of course, we had to try one of the national dishes of Hungary as well. And it was. <laughs> there is kind of interesting flavor in the soup. It's good, but. Uh, Nothing that amazing. Yeah. The restaurants at Central Market Hall are definitely quite touristic, but it was a really fun place to sample few local dishes. Just be a bit careful and don't get too many extras and toppings since everything adds up to the final price and you might feel a bit ripped off. The rain continued, but luckily we got the table for a local wine tasting. Actually, I had never even tried Hungarian wine before, so it was really exciting. The five wines we tried here were all very different and the side dishes were really tasty. Especially the plum truffle jam and this bread were something really special. Refreshing, very fruity, super easy to drink. Uh, very interesting flavor. Very interesting. I never tasted anything like this. You know, like a Kevin Klein perfume, like in my mouth right now. <laughs> yeah, it's never I taste, never tasted this kind of wine. Like a, this is like perfume. This very nice, oil. like rolls, like a blooming rolls. Yeah, both are really nice red wines. Sure. Like wine tasting is so hard. You like, you like and I have to drink that double amount compared to others because of her. She's not crazy. Dessert wine is sweet, it is. sweet but no, you know, got really the refreshing. Also. But I don't usually like very sweet wine. I don't order, but we did a cacao. Uh, this one is actually very really tasty. Crack. I think Hungarian wine is very underrated. It makes make me very happy. happy. The local beer is also excellent, and craft beer scene seems to be really blooming. There is no better place to try all the local brewery products than Ruin Bars, which are one of my favorite things in Budapest, no doubt. Really nice coffee shops. Espresso Embassy was our favorite. The coffee, pastries, and cookies were all super delicious. Cafe Frey is always a good option as well. It is really cheap local chain with many special coffees from all over the world. Budapest is a great city for eating out almost any type of food. I cannot believe that I get churros here in Budapest. <laughs> Hanging out in stylish coffee shops and really cool bars. Or maybe having a picnic while enjoying the beautiful city views from one of the hills like Gellert Hill. Mm -hmm. 